Hey guys, there we are. And once again, <laughs> ER Shred Nation, I can't operate uh, the lives. Hey guys, I'm out walking the dogs and uh, Teddy Shredder, crazy as he is, my boy Floyd. I hope it's not too windy here in Chicago, but uh, it is cold. Um, the reason for me going live is there's a lot of, we got so much energy. We have so many people joining us and um, there's a lot of confusion and concern regarding dairy along this thread. Understand the ER Shred utilizes or uses Isoline Pro and it uses Isoline Pro because of the science and because of the outcome. That is 90% gets absorbed into the body. Previously, which was something that was sh shocker to me, um, the body only absorbed about 16, maybe 20% of the good stuff. The rest got processed out as toxins. They're referred to as nitrogen catabolites. So I'm, I'm repeating a lot of nonsense, sciencey stuff. Um, but what I'm doing is I would like for you to pay attention to the video that I'll post below. This is with Dr. Marco Ruggiero. He is not affiliated with Isogenics, but he saw Peter Greenlaw speak at Autism One in 2000. 16 in the spring of 2016 might have been 2015 i'm getting old i can't remember my years um he was fascinated by the isoline pro makeup and he he saw that there was proteases in our formulation which is really unique to many shakes so he sought out peter and john anderson he learned about our shakes but what he did is he took 20 protein shakes from all around the industry along with our isoline pro and he put it to the test he did his experiments in his laboratories in germany and in switzerland they're peer-reviewed under the same controls um i'm gonna post the video with the outcome but this is it if you allow your shakes to incubate and we say room temperature water it can it cannot be any hotter than 100 degrees and understand at 98.6 that is lukewarm to your skin um, it's not that hot. The, the risk is if you go 104 degrees, you destroy the enzyme, you destroy the shake. So here's the deal. Room temperature water, let's say it's 70, 75 degrees. If you blend it in a bullet blender, it's going to increase by 10 to 15 degrees in heat. That's why we say room temp, but not, you know, just don't go crazy with thinking it has to be hot water. Leave it sit for 45 minutes. Allow the enzymes, the proteases to do their work. But the end product is, is you have a shake. The remaining part of the shake is peptides, as Dr. Ruggiero says, which is just amino acid. There's no milk. There is no dairy of any sort. There's no casein protein. There's no whey protein left. It's all been broken down into amino acids. That's the same. That's why people are able to drink these incubated shakes, not feel bloat, not feel overly full or body you know cramping and so on for people who have reaction to too much protein at once that's the beauty you're drinking amino acids and the net protein utilization goes from 16 20 percent up to 90 percent that is unbelievable that's literally a 450 to almost a 600 percent increase in absorption that's why we're seeing better results that's why people are satiated fuller longer and um, we're seeing in combination, as I said earlier in my post, the elimination aspect is the true jewel secret of all of this because we're eliminating all the carb culprits. That's accelerating the results and getting rid of the inflammation in the body. So the secret, incubated shakes, there's no dairy. If you're sensitive, if you're curious, if you are worried about it, you know, sample, do a half a shake at a time after it's been incubated. You can test it out. But I just want to stop the confusion. There is no plant-based on the on the ER shred for this reason because it doesn't incubate. And the net protein utilization is around 40% on plant-based. Not bad. A lot better than our dairy shakes unincubated. But it's not the ER shred. So I hope this clears some things up. Love each and every one of you. I am blown away, as all of us are, about the continued results. Keep them coming. Thank you all for posting and sharing your results. I know it takes a little bit of, uh, well, it takes a lot of bravery, especially for p posting your pictures. Please do though. That's because how people see, people learn, and we're attracting, we're attracting an army. Thank you, ER Shred Nation. And I gotta get back to the doggies. Anyway, have a great day.